Processed foods such as ready meals, baked goods and processed meats can have negative health effects. Most foods need some degree of processing and not at all processed foods are bad for the body. However, chemically processed foods, also called ultra-processed foods, tend to be high in sugar, chemical ingredients, refined carbohydrates and trans fats. Because of this, they are a major contributor to obesity and illness around the world. In recent decades, ultra-processed food intake has increased dramatically worldwide. These foods now account for 25-60% to 60% of a person's daily energy intake throughout much of the world. This article looked at how processed food can affect a person's health and what to avoid. What are processed foods? The term processed foods can cause some confusion because most foods are processed in some way. Mechanical processing such as grinding beef, heating vegetables or pasteurizing food does not necessarily make food unhealthful. If the processing does not add chemicals or ingredients, it does not tend to lessen the healthfulness of the food. However, there is a difference between mechanical chemical processing, processing and, and chemical processing. Chemically processed foods often only contain refined ingredients and articles artificial substances with little nutritional values, they tend to have added chemical flavoring agents, colors and sweeteners. These ultra-processed foods are sometimes called cosmetic foods such as compared to with whole foods. Some examples of ultra-processed foods include frozen and ready meals, baked goods including pizza, cakes and pastries, packaged bread, processed cheese products, breakfast cereals, crackers and chips, candy and ice cream, instant noodles and soups, reconstituted meats such as sausages, nuggets, fish fingers and processed ham, sodas and other sweetened drinks. Are processed foods bad for you? Ultra processed foods tend to taste good and are often inexpensive, however they usually contain ingredients that could be harmful if consumed in excess such as saturated fats, added sugars and salt. These foods also contain less dietary fibers and fewer vitamins than whole foods. One largest study involving more than 100,000 adults found that eating 10% more ultra-processed foods was associated with the above 10% increase in the risk of cardiovascular disease, coronary heart disease, and cerebrovascular disorder. The researchers reached this conclusion after accounting for saturated fat, sodium, sugar, and fiber intake. Another large study involving around 20,000 adults found that eating more than 4 servings of processed food daily was linked with an increased risk of an all-cause mortality. For each additional serving, all-cause mortality risk increased by 18%. Other research indicated that eating highly processed foods can lead to weight gain. Below, we look at 7 reasons why processed food can increase the risk to a person's health. Number 1. Added Sugar Processed foods tend to contain added sugar and often high fructose corn syrup. Added sugar contains no essential nutrient but it's high in calories. Regularly consuming an excess of added sugar can lead to compulsive overeating. It is also linked with health conditions such as obesity, metabolic syndrome, type 2 diabetes and inflammatory disease. Processed food and beverages are among the major sources of added sugar in the diet.